me, Sandra, with the Curvy Logic YouTube channel. I hope you had a very happy new year. I know I did. I just wanted to give you an update on uh, my progress for the year 2015. Um, as most of you know, in 20, at the end of 2014, beginning of 2015, I was 514 pounds. Well, between 512 to 514 pounds. And throughout 2015, I worked on weight loss and really just trying to change my lifestyle. Um, incredibly difficult. <laughs> um, nowhere near as easy as I thought. Um, it really is going to be a lifelong change because it really did. This has been how this is how I've been my whole life. I've always been overweight and so it's going to take a lot of time um, to really change my entire life uh, my lifestyle and to make the weight loss stick I don't just want to lose the weight and then gain it back so um, in 2015 it was very slow progress but it was progress I ended the year weighing 464 pounds so that was a 50 pound weight loss and um, my greatest accomplishments, um, well, I guess I can't say my greatest accomplishments, but, um, some of the highlights of the year really came from my physical strength. I started the year, um, again, barely able <laughs> to walk a quarter mile, which is one lap around the track, um, because I had let myself slip and I wasn't working out like I should have last year or the year before um, and so I started out just really struggling <laughs> and I worked my way up to now walking three to four miles and it seeing my body change and become stronger is phenomenal and that's really what I want. I want my body to be stronger. I want my body to be healthier in addition to working to get the weight off. And the weight is more, I see it's going to be a lot more psychological than anything else, any other man-made um, prescription for it. Um, for me, just eating right and exercising, that doesn't work for me. Who's texting me? Um, just eating right and exercising. Um, I can't say that doesn't work for me. Um, it would work if I applied it consistently on a daily basis, which of course I don't. Uh, I have a lot of other issues. I have eating disorders. I have um, addictions to food. And those are things that I have to work on. And those are things that I have been working on. And I'm very proud of where I am today compared to where I was this time last year so um, and this year I did a 5k I did um, the uh, Jingle Bell Rock 5k and I got my little medal I'm so happy um, let me see look at that Jingle Bell Rock 5k so I'm so happy and when I did this um, I, I walked it I didn't run I did not run and I cut an hour off of my time from when I did it when I did a 5k my last 5k was in 2013 and that was the um, hit the bricks and that was horrible <laughs> uh, and I think it took me two hours and 20 minutes and this one took me an hour and 10 minutes to do so I cut down my time and I it, it was remarkable. I love it. So I'm going to be doing more of those in 2016. Um, I am going to be really working on consistency in 2016 and everything and just trying to juggle life. Um, I mean, I'm married. I am getting my master's. I work. Uh, I don't want to say I work full time. I work part time <laughs> so that I can get my master's, but my master's overlaps with work and just trying to have a life as well so it is going to be um, interesting 
And this year is a huge year because in 2016 I turned 30. I actually turned 30 in two weeks. And wow, I th turned 30 in two weeks, which I'm excited about because your 30s are supposed to be some of the best times in your life. My 20s sucked ass. They were horrible. I don't want, I, I hate the 20s. God bless you if you're in your 20s. I don't ever want to be in my 20s again. <laughs> oh, God, I don't ever want to be in my 20s again. Um, my 30s, I cannot wait. I'm looking so forward to it. Um, but I've learned a lot about myself. I've learned a lot about my faith. Um, I've, my husband and I have grown closer. Our marriage is just blossoming. Um... I'm just, I, I, the lessons that I've learned in 2015 have just been remarkable. Um, and I'm so insanely blessed beyond all comprehension. And even through the trials and triumphs, I've still made it through. Um, and I'm excited about what 2016 will bring. I will continue to include you in my journey. And... I'm hoping by the end of 2016, um, I'll be in a better place physically, um, and of course emotionally and spiritually and financially. That's another thing that I'm working on, um, because I really do want to start building my family, and right now I can't do that because of my weight. I am, you know, suffering from infertility along with the polycystic ovarian syndrome. So, really getting my health in order is always a top priority. So, I am excited. I will keep you up to date and included in all the happenings. And I like my videos down here. I think I'm going to start doing them in the living room. <laughs> um, so, yeah, thank you guys so much for your love and support. And I will, I guess, see you later. But, yeah, 50 pounds lost in 2015. That's awesome. And if you're on your journey, I know a couple of you said you were on your journey, please don't give up. Keep going. You can do it. I have so much faith in you. Keep going. Thanks. Bye.